Now that we understand the temperature scales, we're going to see how we can convert from one to another. So here we have some conversions we're going to talk about, starting with converting from centigrade degrees to Kelvin degrees. So if you want to go from centigrade to Kelvin, you need to add 273. So the equation would be that Kelvin degrees is equal to centigrade degrees plus 273. Now, we don't write 273.15, which would be exact. We don't want to go that. We just round it off to 273. And that's not a very good looking three. So let me rewrite that one. There we go. All right. So as an example, let's say we have uh, uh, centigrade degree is equal. Let's say it's a nice day outside and it's 25 degrees centigrade. What does that mean for Kelvin? All right. So then we use the equation. Kelvin degrees is equal to the centigrade degrees, which is 25 uh, plus 273. Of course, that would be degrees Kelvin, and so the, in Kelvin degrees that would be 273 plus 25 or 298 Kelvin, which means on a nice sunny day outside when it's 25 degrees centigrade, it's the same as 298 Kelvin. And how do we convert back from Kelvin to centigrade degrees? Well, centigrade degrees is equal to Kelvin minus 273. So let's say that you take a reading. Uh, let's say the surface temperature of the sun is 5,800 Kelvin. So what does that mean? So if K is equal to 5,800 Kelvin, so Kelvin degrees, uh, then centigrade degrees is equal to 5,800 minus 273. And so C is equal to 5,527 degree centigrade. Now, I'm playing a little loose with the with the units, of course, but you just understand that this is how you convert and then you put the proper units on it. All right, now, how do we change from Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees? Let's say that somebody comes here from another country and they drive through the Mojave Desert and they look at the thermometer and they see 104 degrees Fahrenheit and they wonder how hot is that in centigrade degrees? Well, this is how you do that. So if, um, if you have Fahrenheit degrees, so you want to convert to centigrade degrees, so centigrade degrees is equal to Fahrenheit degrees. First, you subtract 32 from that, and then you multiply, apply that times uh, 5 over 9. All right, so as our example, uh, let's say that the, the temperature is equal to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. How much is that in centigrade degrees? And say, so, okay, then C is equal to... We take F, which is 104, we subtract from that 32 first, and then we we'll multiply times 5 over 9. And of course, C is equal to uh, 32 subtracted from that is uh, 72 times 5 over 9. And guess what? I don't think I brought my calculator, but we'll get close here. So C is equal to 9 goes into 72. How many times? Well, hmm. Hey, how about that? Exactly 8 times, because 8 times 9 is 72. And... Um, so that 72 times 9 is 8 times 5 is 40 degrees centigrade. So in the temperature in centigrade degrees, so maybe I'll just write T sub C, T sub C, temperature in centigrade degrees is 40 degrees centigrade. All right. And uh, now how do we convert from centigrade degrees to Fahrenheit degrees? So let's say you are uh, from Los Angeles and you fly to uh, Japan and you look at the thermometer and the thermometer says uh, minus 5 degrees on a cold winter day. So let's say that the temperature uh, is equal to minus 5 degrees centigrade, and you wonder, what is that in Fahrenheit degrees? How do you convert that? Well, that means Fahrenheit degrees is equal to uh, centigrade degrees uh, times 9 over 5, and then you add 32 to that. That's how you convert. Okay, so how do you do that? Well, the temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is equal to the centigrade degrees, which we said was minus 5, Multiply that times 9 over 5, and then add 32 to that. So minus 5 divided by 5 is minus 1, times 9 is, uh, that's minus 9, so temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is equal to minus 9 plus 32, and so temperature Fahrenheit is equal to 23 degrees Fahrenheit. That's how you convert. So when you go to uh, Tokyo in a lunar day and it's minus 5 degrees centigrade, realize that it's 23, 23 degrees Fahrenheit for that. Now, Last thing is, how do you convert from Kelvin to Fahrenheit? So let's say we have uh, 150 Kelvin. How much is that in Fahrenheit? In Fahrenheit degrees? Question mark. Well, the best thing to do is to go and convert to centigrade degree first. So first, we're going to go from Kelvin to centigrade. So we use this first. So, okay, C is equal to uh, Kelvin 
uh, minus 273. So this is equal to 150 minus 273. All right, so um, 150 minus 273. The difference between those would be 123. So this is equal to minus 123 uh, degrees centigrade. So the temperature in um, centigrade degrees is minus 123 when it's 150 Kelvin. And now we convert that to Fahrenheit degrees. So now we look over here and we say, aha, Fahrenheit degrees is equal to the centigrade degrees times 9 over 5 uh, plus 32. So the temperature in Fahrenheit degrees is equal to minus 123 times 9 over 5 plus 32. So 5 goes into 123. Hmm. Should have picked a slightly different number, but hey, it is what it is. So 5 goes to 123, that looks like uh, 24 and 0.6. So that would be minus 24.6 times 9 plus 32. So what is 9 times 24.6? That would be 246 minus 25, that's 221.4. So that's equal to minus 221.4 plus 32. Add 32 to that, so uh, take 21.4 away from that, that would give me uh, 10.6, so that would be equals to minus 189.6 degrees. I'm going on a limb here because I'm not sure, degrees, and that would be degrees Fahrenheit, temperature in Fahrenheit. So, so what we did then is we first converted from Kelvin, 150, subtract 273, you get centigrade degrees. Then we use the equation. So we put 123 there, times 9 over 5 plus 32. Mm, 32, nope, that won't do it. Uh, this would be 0.4, because if I add 2 to that, I get that, 2 to that. All right, that's better. So that's how you convert to Fahrenheit degrees. I better go get my calculator, huh? All right, anyway, I hope this helps. So now you can see how you can convert from one temperature scale to another just using these equations. So that's the conversion from, from uh, centigrade degrees to Kelvin, the conversion from Kelvin to centigrade degrees, the conversion from Fahrenheit degrees to centigrade degrees, the conversion from centigrade degrees to Fahrenheit degrees, and then if you have to convert from Kelvin to, to Fahrenheit degrees, just do it in two steps. First go to centigrade degrees, and then go to Fahrenheit degrees. And that's how you do that.